my name is Miss Anna and today I will be showing you how to do an activity called Paper Snowflakes. The purpose of this activity, Paper Snowflakes, is for you to create your own snowflake. You can add any shapes you like, you can use them for Christmas decorations, you can add glitter to them, you can show family members how to make them, and simply just give it to someone you love. Some of the materials for your Paper Snowflake are rulers, a scissor, pencil, and white paper. Of course, you can use any other color of paper. It's up to you. Okay, so we will begin by folding our paper into a triangle form. Like this. And then we will use our scissors to cut this extra space that we have right here. We can place this to the side, and then once we have our triangle cut out, we will fold that triangle in half. Once the triangle is folded in half, we will open it and use this as our center point. You will use that to guide you as you fold your triangle by half. You're going to go ahead and make the shape, kind of like an ice cream cone. Now, you will take your pencil or ruler and you will create, or actually you will draw a triangle right here. After you've drawn your triangle, you will create another one on top of that one, but you will not connect the center. Now, now you will draw a line going out like this. You will take your ruler again and do an outline of that line without connecting it at the center. Like this. Then you will draw two lines going up. And then you will create another set of lines going outward. Similar to the ones we did before. I messed up a little. Okay, once you've completed those outer lines, you will then create another set of lines going upwards. And from there, you will create a smaller version of the lines you did before going outwards. Like this. And then at the top of those, you will create two triangles but you will not create the line at the end of the triangle. All right, for our last step, you will draw the same line and the same triangle on the top of your shape. Now, once you've drawn those lines, you will then cut out the outline of your snowflake. All right, let's see how it looks. end result will be. You go ahead and open up your snowflake carefully and you get to see the shape that you have made. A very neat thing about making this snowflake is that making a lot of them you can then connect them and hang them around for decorations. You can add glitter to them, go ahead and add your own color, use different color of paper and you can teach someone else how to make them. Thank you. You can also log in to our website at eClub to see more cool activities. Thank you.